A portion of this video is an ad for Candy Crush Saga by King. Hey girl or boy, what is up everyone? How are you? I hope you're having a fantastic day today. We're in the kitchen today and that's because today we are making whipped drinks. 10 whipped drinks to be exact. These drinks are inspired by the one and only famous Dalgona whipped coffee. So since I'm obsessed with it, I decided to make a bunch of them. Some of these recipes I found online and some I'm literally just whipping up right now in the kitchen and hoping that they actually work. I haven't tried these so I'm kind of nervous but I'm also confident that they're gonna be bomb because anything whipped means creamy and I'm thriving with excitement girl but before we begin this video i'd like to thank candy crush saga this next portion of my video is an ad for candy crush saga i'm almost a thousand percent sure you have all played candy crush but if you haven't or even have candy crush is doing something new and featuring real players inside the game this is a special event that celebrates real players just like all of us and the reason we love to crash the wonderful people at candy crush have designed some special levels inspired by these real players which all of us can access for a limited time you can pass each level to win rewards and complete all the levels to unlock a booster bundle go play now and comment below what you think of this cool new feature where do you play candy crush now that we've been in quarantine honestly i'm playing all over the house i mean on the couch in bed where else could i actually really go if you think about it candy crush saga is free to download and it's at the top of my description box so click the link in my description and download candy crush saga today and thanks again to candy crush saga for this ad in this portion of my video now on to my regular content without further ado let's get into some whipped drinks we're gonna start off with the one and only goal that started this trend, the Dalgona whipped coffee. You have seen this all over the web. It is everywhere. Your mom drinks it, you drink it. I mean, I don't know if you actually like it or you drink it, but I drink this every single day. And I'm just gonna walk you through what it is because I feel like you guys have seen it a million times and you're probably here to see the rest of the drinks rather than like the actual Dalgona drink because we've seen it that many times. The Dalgona drink is a whipped iced coffee and it's super creamy and delicious. And I'm actually gonna make it real quick because I haven't had it today. So for the Dalgona whipped coffee, you need two spoons of instant coffee, two spoons of sugar, and you need two spoons of water. You mix that up, you whip it up until it gets nice and creamy you can whip it up to a consistency that you like i like to whip it up where it actually feels like peanut butter like it's super thick you pour that into your glass of milk mix it up and it is divine <laughs> it looks pretty good i'm so excited and as you can see i did change because i quickly realized that when you're whipping drinks it splatters everywhere well, i don't know why i actually put a white top on so that is a little thick one now we just top it off with a whip Ooh, wow and there, mix it up. <sighs> Amazing. Simply fantastic. All right, next up, strawberry whipped, it's not really dog owner because that's a copy, but strawberry whipped milk. I am so excited about this one because I actually have never tasted it. So what we're gonna use is half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I feel like with heavy whipping cream, you could whip just about anything. So that's what we're using today. We're taking two spoons of strawberry milk powder. So we're just gonna go in there. Never made this, but I think it'll work. I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, it's actually getting thicker immediately. I just wanna taste this a little bit. Oh my God, this is so Amazing. That's it. Look how whipped this got. This is basically homemade whipped cream, if you think about it. Uh, but with the milk, I think it's going to be so creamy and delicious. I'm so excited. Pour in some of that milk. Whoa. Oh, girl. Okay. Looks like a masterpiece to me. What did I just do? Dang, this this is like, it tastes like a smoothie. It tastes like a strawberry, strawberry milk smoothie. Wow. Like a it milkshake. tastes like a, a milkshake. milkshake. That's what it tastes like. It's subtle but perfect, it's so good. So because we did the strawberry, we're gonna do chocolate. And I'm actually, I think I'm more excited about this one than the strawberry one. So I'm adding the same ingredients I did with the strawberry milk except it's chocolate. So a half a cup of that heavy whipping cream and two spoons of the chocolate milk powder. And whip it up. Dang, these whip up pretty quickly too. Like they're really easy. I feel like with the coffee itself, 
you kind of do whip for quite a bit. The creaminess of it all, y'all. I'm actually gonna go ahead and rim this with the chocolate powder because I think it'd be so good. I'm taking a little bit of honey or syrup or whatever you want, just coating it up so that you could add some of that chocolate powder. I should have done this with a strawberry milk, but I didn't think about it until now. When I was little, I don't know if you guys ever, ever did this. So when I ran out of chocolate milk powder, I would actually go in with syrup and just mix the syrup up with some milk and it was actually delicious. Then after that, I started like combining the two a little bit and it's pretty good. I'm not gonna add it in here. I'm actually just gonna add it as like a drizzle around the cup. So I'm gonna put some ice in there, some milk, and we'll go ahead and add in the whipped chocolate. Mmm, I think this is gonna be my favorite one. I just know it. I just know it. I smell it like it smells so good. Wow, this looks, ooh. <laughs> I just had an out of body experience. The amount of whipping cream whipped whatever on top is insanely bomb. So good. This is incredible. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. I know that some people might think, you know, it's really just chocolate milk. Because when I tried the Dalgona coffee originally, people were saying like, it's just coffee. I'm telling you guys, the whipped part is what makes these drinks incredible, next level. It is so good. The whipped part is just amazing. That is good. I have seven drinks to go. So I don't wanna go crazy right now. You guys, I really hope you guys try some of these out. They're freaking amazing. Next up is matcha. I'm a big fan of matcha, but as a big fan of matcha, you would think that like I'd make it at home or I've made it at home before. I've never made it at home. I usually just like get it at like a coffee shop or something. Whipped matcha, I think that's actually a thing. So this is not like out of this world, but I'm really excited because I love matcha and having it nice and creamy, I'm here for it. So I'm taking two spoons of the matcha powder Wow, that's matcha. Whoa, matcha's healthy, huh? I could taste the the green, you know? All I'm drinking is sugar because this right here is not what I'm tasting when I drink matcha. Speaking of sugar, we're adding two spoons of sugar. Oh my gosh, do people drink matcha by itself? I'm sure they do. Oh my God, I was like, girl, I like matcha too. Like when people would post it, like, you know, like the fitness people on Instagram. Half a cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna whip it right up. Really excited. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a taste. I wanna see what it tastes like when the sugar's added. Like, does it taste like what I get at the coffee shops? It does. Oh my god, it's all sugar I'm eating I'm drinking. Okay, we're realizing things today. It's fine. This one is insanely thick. So thick. Dang, that is amazing. <laughs> we love sugar. Hello. Whoa. We had an idea that with a whipping cream, of course it'd be whipped, but I didn't think they would whip up this good. Look at that. It looks so pretty. Dang, this stuff is so thick. All right, here's a real taste test of it mixed together. It's a little much for me, I gotta say. It is really sweet. All right, you know what? I'm determined that this is gonna work because I'm a big fan of matcha and th there's just no excuse for me not to like that, you know? Maybe it's because it's the whipping whipping milk, heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna do it with water. So same thing, just water and one spoon of sugar instead of two. I don't like the it's whipping up. I think it's doing something. Hold on, girl. It's getting a little thicker. Look at this, it's getting thicker. So you don't necessarily need the heavy whipping cream for this. I'm gonna try this because I feel like I have to like it. I have to. I think it's enough whipping. And I feel like this might actually taste better. Where's my piggy spatula? Can I just say that this little piggy went to the market? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ooh, that whipped up so beautifully. Hi. This looks promising. The other one, maybe that's why it was so thick because it was just like way too much heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. 
This is exactly what I needed. It's perfect. And it's almost the same recipe as the Dogana one. The creaminess is everything. And that's what makes these whipped drinks so good. This is the one I think you guys should try. This is what I'm making every day. All right, next up we're making a lemon drink. Think lemon pound cake, creamy, lemony deliciousness. Because I feel like lemon actually, when you mix it with sweet, I think it's so good. I haven't seen this one ever, uh, but I think it would be delicious. We're gonna take some heavy whipping cream, a third cup. We're not adding a whole half cup because I have less powder on the side. And I have three packets of powder that makes lemonade. It's one of those electrolyte powders. We're dumping that in. I'm taking some vanilla extract, adding just a drop. Boop. I'm gonna mix this first because I feel like when I go in with these powders, they fly everywhere. Dang, it looks good. You guys, this looks amazing. Let me taste it before I whip it. It's pretty strong. Like it's not just like in the background, very subtle, no. She's front and center. She's a sassy girl. I'm a little worried if anything that she's very bold. I'm tripping, I smell popcorn. I like actually smell butter. See that? Again, whipped, whoa. Some food colored sugar, some ice and milk. There she goes. Hello. Top it off with a little a lemon slime. Hello. Well, well, well. This is a lemon creamsicle. <laughs> I'm literally speechless, like actually, it's so good. All you need is some kind of lemonade powder. The vanilla is also key. That's it. You could probably even just like do it with like lemon juice and like some sugar, mix that up, add that vanilla extract. Electrolytes are not needed. Mm. Ooh, this is sour. It's so yummy. I mean, I know I have you try everything, but you just gotta try this one. That's Ooh. crazy, huh? Tastes really good. I feel like you could make ice cream with this. Since I have nothing to compare it to, it really reminds me of banana milk. Cause I feel like banana milk is like some somewhat thick. It tastes like that, but like lemon version, but creamy. I feel like I'm drinking melted lemon cream stick ice cream. It's actually a little much for me. A little too creamy, a little too thick, straight up melted ice cream. But you know, sometimes it's just a lot, it's a lot. So if you're a sweet tooth, girl. Chai tea, Thai tea, what is the difference you guys? If you guys know the difference, please correct me down below. But I'm a really big fan of Thai tea. So uh, I found some Thai tea, Chai tea. <laughs> I always mix them up. Chai tea liquid. I'm using a fourth of a cup in this bowl and I'm going in with half a cup of heavy whipping cream. That looks great already. Just a quick little tip, making any of these drinks, for it to whip, you have to have more of the heavy whipping cream than the actual uh, other substance. I wish this was a little bit more orange, so I'm going in with some orange food coloring. All right guys, I gotta say, we whipped this up and it looks whipped, but it's not as thick as the other consistencies. So uh, we'll see what it tastes like. We're gonna taste it and see if it's delicious or if it's a fail, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my glass again and I'm gonna add some cinnamon on the sides. You guys, these are some fancy looking drinks. Adding our milk. And I'm gonna go in with some of that tea. Ooh, this one's very, very creamy. Okay. I gotta say that this is so cute. Love the food coloring. Um, but is it good, you know? What? This tastes like a uh, pumpkin spice drink. Whoa, I didn't think this would taste like pumpkin. I think I would actually make this during fall. It's not overly sweet at all. Like at all it actually tastes like it has very little sugar but it's really good and i could actually drink all of it without feeling like i have too much sugar you know it's good i really like this one i'm really excited about this one because this one is a charcoal one not sure how charcoal would work but basically it's a charcoal whip i don't know what this would taste like i don't think charcoal has a taste it does have a little bit of cocoa powder in there so let's let's see what this is like we're taking one tablespoon of cocoa powder we're taking half a tablespoon of charcoal powder which is this right here we're gonna add some stevia only half a teaspoon of that Woo, girl this stuff is pigmented 
Half a cup of heavy whipping cream. The charcoal powder, it just completely takes over. Completely. Mmm, it's gonna taste like chocolate, but it's not exactly like the chocolate milk. Dang, my ice machine, like, that sounded like somebody was walking, like running, like. Oh, I feel like a lot of times when I think there's a ghost, it's like for the fridge, all the time. And I'm like, oh, they're real, oh my God, <laughs> they're here. And it's like, oh, it's, it's, it's making ice. <laughs> this looks really cool. Time to whip her up. This happened really quickly. Let's pour this in. Whoa, that looks really cool. Whoa, okay girl, this is like kind of like a little healthy version. I'm really dedicating my whole day right now to making just a bunch of whipped drinks and I'm thriving. It's like an Oreo milkshake. Crumbled on top of the Oreo. We have an Oreo. There you go, lighting. This is what happens when you're using natural lighting and the sun's going down and and we're still here, four hours later. <laughs> it tastes like a healthy chocolate milk. It has charcoal in it, which is good for you. You know fart pills are literally just charcoal pills, right? And it's so that your farts don't smell. Anyways, this will help your farts not stink if you drink it every day, apparently. It's like not as sweet as a chocolate milk one. You taste the cocoa like if you wanna do a healthy version. I really like it, like I'm really into the sweet ones, but also this, it's not too sweet. Like I could finish it, refreshing. I gotta go brush my teeth before I get to the next one. Speaking of chocolate, we have used chocolate in different ways today, have we not? Whipped red velvet is next. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm sure the majority of you guys do. If you don't, well, we all learned something new today. Did you know that red velvet is literally just chocolate with food coloring? Yeah. I thought I thought I liked red velvet more than chocolate. They taste different, and I think it's just the color tricking us. Going in with two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of sugar. I'm not just gonna go in with food coloring. I'm actually going in with some beet juice. This stuff right here, I've actually never like tasted it. It smells weird. Uh, let me go ahead and taste this. Mm. 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 It's not bad at all. It tastes fruity for some reason, but like also like tomatoey. And lastly, the famous heavy cream. I think the beet juice is definitely gonna help this give it the color that we need. I am actually making the whole freaking rainbow in this video. Okay, that looks like a cool color. Whoa, it smells really good. Hold on, let me taste this, let me taste this. I don't taste the beet juice, which is great, but I don't taste sugar. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, we have washed these every single time and we've made eight drinks. Thank you, Squishy. Best husband award goes to Mr. Squishy Bunny himself. All right, we're gonna rim it. Red sugar, well, it's a little more on the pink side, but we love her. And some iced milk. Hey, thank you. She's heavy, yeah, she's going down. We'll see if the beet juice did anything. Mm. Wow, I really like this one because it's not as sweet as the chocolate milk, but it's not as uh, like subtle as the charcoal one. This one is perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. Wait, I think I actually might like this one the most. It's like the perfect sweet. If you want a chocolate whipped drink, but you don't want it to be too sweet, this is perfect. Oh, that's so good, right? It's crazy because all the chocolate ones have tasted so differently. I really recommend this one. I really, really recommend this one. This is my favorite chocolate one. My favorite one. You guys, it is actually getting dark outside. That's crazy. It's been hours of this, but I, it's really smooth too. It's weird because like it's been hours, but I've been having fun just like tasting different drinks and stuff. This is just one that I really wanted to experiment with and see if you could really make a whipped drink out of anything. This is blue raspberry electrolyte, so kind of like the lemon one. So energy drink basically, but it's blue raspberry flavor. I don't know what this would taste like with cream, but I wanted to test out if it really works with just about anything. Cause I feel like if you whip anything with heavy cream, somehow it like, it'll turn out. Let's give it a try. So one tablespoon of this, half a cup of heavy cream. I'm not adding sugar because there is already uh, sugar in the energy drink. And now let's whip it up. Such a pretty color. Can I just start there? Beautiful color. It's, it's sour. Good. 
but it's really They're good. Like a sour creamy. This is just crazy. Even the ones that I'm like, this can't be good. They're good. I'm so confused. This is insane. We really could just whip up anything. I just kind of want it to look a little fancy. <laughs> Getting some ice and some milk. I feel like these are all gonna be good. I'm so happy. You guys, this is such a beautiful drink. Got some frozen blueberries. Some little sugar, sugar. You guys, look at her. This one is the prettiest one. I think it's the prettiest one, hands down. Are you kidding me? You cannot make a nasty whipped drink. Are you kidding me? Are you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are, you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm flabbergasted, to say the least. Absolutely flabbergasted. This is crazy, surprisingly good. What? They are all so good. All of them. Love that for me. Alrighty, last but not least. Well, could be least. I don't know, they've all been good. Maybe this is the one that's not that great. We don't know. This is one tablespoon of acai powder and half a cup of heavy cream. I know some of you guys will probably say, well, you know, you're mixing everything with whipping cream, it's gonna whip up, and you're actually right. The crazy part is that I didn't think these would all taste good, like mixing them with the milk, but they're all so creamy and delicious. I mean, I've had quite a few drinks and I'm not over it. Like, they're all so unique and bomb in their own way. It's crazy. I don't want the powder to fly, so I'm gonna whip this up in here first. All right, we got the purple drink. Wow, and these colors too, like they're coming out so pretty. Like you guys, this is working out so great. How beautiful is that? So cute. Dang, oh, that looks cute. Hmm. Such a pretty purple. You know, it reminds me of matcha. I don't know why. Hmm. The rim is like a whole other experience because of the sugar. It's not bad, but I do have to say, I left the least for last. It's good. It's not something I would crave though. I don't know what it tastes like. It is good. However, it's not my favorite one. The previous one was a blue one and it did taste really good. But my favorite, favorite one, I really liked the red velvet one. The red velvet, and I didn't think I would like it as much because of the beet juice, but it was so good and it didn't taste as sweet. Like that was, it was a perfect medium, I loved it. This is such a cute purple one. Look how cute this is, you guys. They're so cute. Today I learned that everything, about everything will whip into a whipped drink. But I really didn't think some of these would taste good and I also thought that they wouldn't work. Some of them I found online, but a lot of these we really were just like, well, let's see if it works. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be. And they were all pretty good. That I, can't, I really feel like I learned a lot today. So there you have it, 10 whipped drink recipes that are pretty amazing. And they were all good, none of them were bad. If you guys try any of these out, make sure to tag me on Instagram, at Karina Garcia. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.